obviously we've seen the squad. How likely is Harry Newman to feature then on Friday? Yeah, Harry will be playing. What do you expect from him then, given the amount of time he's been out? Well, I expect him to play well. He's been he's been training hard. Uh, he's been training, you know, with really really intent and a, a great uh, balanced program that they've put together. Um, Rich and Johnny have, have been working hard with him um, to get him into not only good uh, physical shape but but good football shape. So we're expecting him to to play well. Have you seen an, an extra excitement within the group at Harry featuring again, given what he's been through? Uh, he, he's been doing a lot of training in the last couple of weeks. So um, he's been in and around it and adding his, his personal touch and energy to the situation. And um, so he, he certainly contributed to the quality of our practice and our environment in the last couple of weeks. So, you know, n- the next step is to, for him to be physically part of it um, on game day. What can he add to the side, do you feel? Oh, he's got that ability to, to turn small things into, into big things. Um, he's, he's powerful, he's, he's explosive, but uh, we've, we've been chatting about uh, working on his, his complete game. You know, he's got a lot to, to grow as a, as a young player, um, you know, where he wants to be regarded as a, as a good all-round player, not just, um, you know, a big play player. What about Alex Meller? Is he fit enough to come straight back in? Alex has taken good care of himself. He's had um, a sternum injury, which has sort of hampered his ability to, to uh, do a lot of contact work until recent times. But um, he's phys- the, the rest of his body's in, in good condition. He's, um, he's fit and healthy. Where do you see him fitting in position-wise? Uh, we'll, we'll see how that looks tomorrow. Uh, make some decisions on that. Uh, we've, we've got some... Good options there at the moment with people playing well and, and people that have got work under their belt. Um, James Donaldson did a terrific job last week coming on, you know, earlier than expected. And uh, Bodine Thompson sort of showed what he can what he can do as an edge back rower there. So um, he's played a lot of time there over his career, but more recently in the middle. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll finalise the, the makeup of that 17 tomorrow. You have got those good decisions, good selection decisions to make now, to, and you said you'll you'll change a winning side. Um, is there any sort of reticence in terms of affecting the fluency that we saw last week? Uh, we we had changes last week. I think from the week before, there was a few changes. Um, two different back rowers, and things things flowed. We we practice um, with everyone getting a getting a turn uh, in our scrimmages. It's not just the the thirteen that are playing and both. You know, when we're doing opposed, both teams are doing the same same attack and defence that, that we want to sort of work on. So everyone should be able to to fit in. I think that's important. Um, yeah, for rhythm as the season goes, you, you can't just depend on the same people playing all the time. It's going to be a squad effort to uh, to perform well on a weekly basis. In terms of returning players, how far away is Aiden Caesar right now? Oh, he, he's really close. He's really close. He, he's not ready this week, but, you know, we'd imagine he'd be likely in contention for St. Helens um, in a couple of weeks' time. How different a challenge will Huddersfield pose on Friday then? Um, every every team's its own unique challenge each, each week. So they're, they're clearly a, a strong team, well coached. Uh, they play with good teamwork. Um, it looks like there's a great deal of belief. Good measure, good mix of uh, you know experience and, and some younger players as well. Um, yeah, it'll be a, be a fierce battle. I'm I'm hoping for. Given where they are in the table and given how well they're playing this year, given they're at home, will this be a, a decent benchmark for you? Do you think? Uh, our performance on Friday will be our performance on Friday. It's not you know when it's irrelevant to the table or to the venue. Really, it's just uh, a matter of going there and. Doing what we're what we've been working on and, and who we who we want to be as a team and we, we've shown some signs of uh, being clear and and demonstrating our identity as a team. We, we're not happy with some aspects of what we've what we've shown recently, so we're working hard to to add to what we what we've been happy with as well. So. Is there anyone you'd be willing to pick out as a key threat among the Giants group? Oh, I mean, Tui, Tui Lola, he has had uh, a lot of try assists and, um, you know, a lot of the, the 
less predictable stuff, uh, I guess, comes comes through him. But you know, they as I said earlier, they're they're very much a a team. Um, they play play with good chemistry and good discipline, and they're happy to to work hard for everything they get. Which um, you know, we, we look forward to to challenging them for that aspect of the game. Uh, you know, they've got quality quality dummy half. Um, Danny Levi is a an exceptional dummy half, I believe, and, and you know, Adam O'Brien had a, a big impact on that performance last week as well. So there's a real threat from dummy half that we need to be aware of. Just lastly for me, Rowan, obviously Blake Austin's new deal has been announced since last week. Could you give us a bit of an insight into the progression that you've seen from him since you arrived? Oh, I've followed Blake's career for, for a long time. Um, I sort of crossed paths with him a few times and, and coached against him several times uh, at back home. So I, I know his game quite well. Uh, watching games on on video is is not always a, a true indication, given that you you're not from from afar. You're not sure what what the style is supposed to be and how things are supposed to be going. So um, with everyone, it was largely a, a clean slate when I when I started. From my point of view, I I know what they can do based on what what I've seen on video. But uh, bringing that together, talking to them about what plays they like and and how can I help create a system that gives them the chance to do what they're, they're good at. Um, Blake certainly played well, I feel, in the, the three games since I've been here. Uh, he looks like he's enjoying himself. Um, he's, I've always had a high opinion of him as a player, so I look forward to, to building our, our player-coach relationship and, and seeing what we can do with this group. How different is this group, Ron, in terms of confidence mentality to the one you inherited a few weeks ago? I know results can have a dramatic impact on that, but just... The whole mentality around the place. How different is it to when you arrived? Oh, well, when I arrived, the, the the environment wasn't wasn't too bad. Like it it was uh, welcoming and and receptive, and they were ready to work. And that's that's what we've done. And uh, regardless of performance or result, um, my my style is very consistent as far as not riding the highs and lows. So they haven't seen any difference in me. Uh, and it's it's a matter of getting back to work. Really, um, they're enjoying themselves. Um, they're they're relaxed, but working hard. Um, I'm not sure what was happening before then, so it's it's really hard to hard for me to comment on that. I know Aidan Caesar's upcoming return will give you another headache in terms of the the spine of the side. You made that decision to put Hardacre at fullback and, and Myler at half back. At how pleased are you with how they've both sort of settled into roles that they've not really played in their own recent history of late? Yeah, they've they've done well. Um, they're, they're team team first sort of players, um, which I, I really commend that aspect. They're happy to play whatever position um, selected, um, but it was good to see them combine together, and create a couple of great plays. One that sort of you know rightly or wrongly got ruled back as well there from the twenty meter restart, but they they'll find in their combination together, which uh, that was you know one of the more pleasing parts of last week's performance. The the spine um, sort of combining and and getting the, the footy rolling for us. Zach's obviously on this initial short-term deal until the end of the year. At what stage do you envisage you sit down with him and, and have those discussions about the future or have they taken place already? Uh, when the time's right, we'll be having conversations and, and chatting about the future for the moment. Um, you know, Zach and I speak each week and he's, he's very keen to... Uh, get his performances, you know, going on a consistent basis and, and let his, let his performances do the talking and then, then we can see where things fit. He's obviously played a number of positions. I mean, at Wigan, he was predominantly a centre. He was a fullback at Leeds before that. Is fullback where you see him in this team long-term? Uh, we only picked the team one week at a time. So at the moment, there's a lot of versatility within our group, which I, I really love. Um, the fact that people can play different positions um, we haven't had everyone available with, you know, with Newman back in the mix and Caesar back in the mix um, soon um, with Myler and Hardacre and Austin. And, you know, there's, there's lots of moving parts there. So, you know, I, I don't know where the, what the future holds, um, but Zach will be playing fullback this week and, you know, I like what he's done there so far. You mentioned Danny Levi before. You would have worked quite closely with him last season, wouldn't you, would you at North? Yeah, I did. Yeah, Levi... Um, he came to us in January uh, last season, having played 20 games for Manly in the NRL um, the season before. He he didn't find himself in the NRL, uh, but he 
he played really well, best player in the Queensland Cup for the first four or five rounds of the season and scored himself a, a short-term deal at the Broncos um, that, he, that he finished up last year. Was it, was it quite a surprise when he didn't get an NRL deal last year? Uh, I was surprised that he, he ended up at North to start with um, and not, not in the NRL. And on the back of his performances last year uh, in the Queensland Cup, he, he was uh, yeah very surprised that he's not in the NRL and playing regular, um, regularly, regularly there you know, in first team. But, you know, that's the gain of, of Huddersfield and, and Super League in general that um, such a, a player of such quality is, has come over here to, to play his trade. Yeah, he's, he's certainly uh, one to watch uh, in, in in this week's uh, in this week's matchup, isn't he? Yeah, certainly. He's um, he's a great competitor. He's he's very tough, very fit. Loves to run from dummy half. Um, he he drives his team's energy. Um, yeah, he's he's a he's a player people love playing with. You've been here just over a month. Are you happy with the progress in that time, performance wise? Yeah, the, prep, the quality of the preparation um, has, has been good on a sort of daily basis. And, you know, that's come come together in a, a couple of decent performances as well. So that gives uh, gives people reason to to keep keep working on the process stuff that, that ends up in some good outcomes. And as a coach, is it encouraging when you see a performance like last week that, that you are getting your message across? Yeah, I, I think, you know, what, what happened last week, uh, you know, that was last week, but also... There was, there was nothing too much there that those players haven't shown over their careers um, at various different clubs or um, even even in the Rono shirt. Um, it was, it's more, you know, if anything, they they did, did it together and the combination of existing skills um, came out uh, on the on the back of some really hard scrambling and competing, you know, that sort of kept us in the game probably to start with before we had the opportunity to win the game. Do you think there's a lot more potential in this squad? Yeah, I do. Yeah, is your message, your overriding message um, to play to your strengths as, as individuals? Because we're seeing more running from the likes of Blake Austin, for example. Uh, my message is to, to play as a team and how can we help each other to, to be a good team? Um, and that requires the individual to, to do what he does best for the good of the team. Um, so the, the timing of... Your play selection is everything, um, and that that'll be continue to be my theme. Is um, yeah, bringing the best out in the team. And just on Huddersfield, coming up against a team that focus on completing A and getting into the grind. Do you tinker with your game plan at all, or is it just about what you do and nailing plan A? Oh, we love to um, complete as well, and we love to get in the grind. And last week there was long passages of of the game that. Um, you know they were they were arm wrestles. We we took a long time to get some back to back tries, and you know in the second half there was no try for the first you know twenty minutes or so as well. So um, you know these these guys understand it. It takes hard work to get the results. So we're we're looking forward to a grinding battle. But coming up against a team like Huddersfield, knowing that if you turn the ball over, it could be a long night. Is that is that part of the preparation? Uh, we, we, we know we will turn the ball over at some point. We will make uh, a couple of errors. We've been working hard on um, what we do to, um, you know, to, to transition really from attack to defence. That, that's really the critical part of the game. Um, we're not going to go into our shell. We're going we're gonna to play what we want to play or what the, de- what the defence allows us to do is what we will continue to try and do. Um, if we make an error, we're going to do our best to defend it. That's that's how we're going to play. Just looking back at last week's game, outstanding performance, obviously. Um, and I, I was at Headingley a couple of weeks earlier when you played Wakefield, and you got a win. But it was a very different sort of performance, wasn't it? it, it you know, I, although you beat Wakefield, I didn't think you played with great flair and, um, and and brilliance. You sort of slogged out a win in a sense. And and, and I just wonder whether you can explain really what caused the transformation because I, I thought you played against Warrington with a sort of freedom and almost, a, you, you, to, to use an odd word, a, almost a joy, I suppose. You know, the players really looked to be having a great time against Warrington, whereas it didn't quite look like that against Wakefield. It was much more anxious, a much more anxious performance. What, 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 what caused the change? 
I'm trying to think back. Uh, Wakefield feels like a long time ago. Um, yeah. I, I didn't think it was an anxious performance. I, I think there was a lot of stoppages in that game. Uh, mm. There was a lot of injury breaks. And those games tend to um, slow down and turn more into a, um, a slug fest, I, I guess, for want of a better word. Um, yeah. You know, I, I thought we, we showed a lot of the stuff that we showed on, uh, on the weekend at Warrington um, in that Wakefield game. But, it, you know, it doesn't always, doesn't always uh, end up in tries, you know, and that's on the weekend we... You know, fell our way a few times. We were a bit fortunate early in the game. And, um, you know, even at the end of the game, we were fortunate enough with an intercept. But um, I, I feel it's a it's a process and you're never going to be at your best every week. And, it, you know, you've got to take what the, the defence allows. Can I just ask a little bit more about Blake Austin? Because, you know, uh, I've seen a, most Leeds games this year, including obviously the ones before you arrived. And Blake, earlier in the season, looked to be playing almost sort of within himself, in a, in a sense. He, he almost, you know, looked as though he was a bit reluctant to do some of the things that he was clearly doing last, last Friday night. I wonder whether you've had a, made a special point with him of, of, of sort of encouraging him to take control of a game, because he seemed to be doing that against Wigan. I mean, you know, against Warrington, rather. You know, they, they, they'd, they'd got some very good players in key positions, a good, or a, a good spine on paper. And yet I thought, you, you know, your team clearly outplayed them and uh, Blake was a very significant part in that. Yeah, I, I think your, your key points there were, were a team um, and Blake played a significant part in that. I, I thought our spine played together uh, well. Um, I've had lots of... Uh, small conversations with with Blake we have five to ten quick chats um, in and around training about various different things he he's a thinker of the game he, he loves his rugby league he's um, he's got got good ideas and I love bouncing things off him um, I've encouraged him to do what he does well which he is a great runner of the ball he's also a good passer his kicking game has improved over over his um, career as well I think that he found a good balance of putting all those things together and not feeling like he had to do everything, um, but just just doing his part for the team. I think you just explained why he's got a new contract anyway. That's 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 one thing for sure. But uh, final point, I suppose, uh, Rowan, you know, there's been a lot of inconsistent teams in Super League this year, you know, getting good results one week and then a bad one the following week. And you, you, Leeds have been part of that. I wonder whether you can now get to the point where you can play, you know, not score 40 points every week, but 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 play as well as you did against Warrington, because that would be, you know, massive. And it's a real big test for you this Friday, isn't it, against Huddersfield? Because they they have been fairly consistent. And, um, you know, many people thought they're a bit unlucky not to win the Challenge Cup. And um, they, they will certainly be a hell of a big test for you. And if you come through that and beat them, that's that's going to be a massive... A massive result if you if you can get it. Yeah, um, it'll be two points. You know, like that's um, that's how we're looking at it. We want to perform well and, and chase the two points. In, in the end, um, the the ladder as such doesn't tell you who who you beat. It just accumulates points for you. So uh, we we know we're playing against a very strong team who are well coached. Um, and and we're looking to to go and challenge ourselves there and and seeing what the what the process what the process brings us.